and welcome to this fifth advanced Let's Plus tutorial by Orange Me Network. In this tutorial I'll be continuing with the RPC game and creating it so the character moves around properly and there are boundaries at the end of the map. So first of all we'll go to the move map function and we need to change this slightly because we don't want the map to always move and to do this we're going to introduce several new variables it's quite complicated this bit and it took me a while to figure out how to do this myself so if you get lost uh, don't worry about it just copy what I've put and it will work in code and maybe one day you'll understand <laughs> what it means I'll try and explain it though so um, we're gonna have four variables called char l char r char u and char d and these will all equal zero and what these mean is when it's on zero it means the background's moving and then when it's on one it means the character's moving so at the moment because it's zero what I want to sorry what I want to happen is when you go left the background moves and when this value equals 1 then the character will move so now when we go to this move map function and by the way it wasn't as simple as that there's a few more different things to do with those variables but I'll try and explain them later because they are quite complicated well this is an advanced tutorial so <laughs> sorry about that if it's too complicated <laughs> so what we're going to do is when you're trying to go up it's if you press the up arrow and which is the yellow the, the yellow so it's a command the char d has to be zero and this means that you can only move up if you're pressing up and also that the character has not gone down by itself because if you get to the bottom of the map and the character moves down uh, we don't when you start moving up we want the character to move up until it gets to the centre of the screen and then the background will start moving again. So now I will do this for all of the other key downs. So I've just completed all of those now. Oh, there's an and here. All I've done is to all the other three key downs I've added and char u and char r and r char l so just to get those down. And now we will make it so it detects when it collides with the top left so when the maps move as far as it will go up to the top so what we do is if the y offset is bigger than the tire length then and only then will we be allowed to move upwards otherwise and we'll write else char up equals 1 so once you get to the top with the background moving then it will trigger for the character to start moving itself so the character can get right up to the top and I'll show you what happens now so I'm going down and now I'm holding the up arrow I'm still holding it up but now it's stopped and that's what I want to happen so I'll end that So what this is doing is it's only letting you move up when the position of the background is bigger than the tire length which is 50. If you remember before we had it minus 50 there which is the y offset and that meant that it was exactly at the top so now we're just checking to see if it ever goes beyond the point where it's at the top then we'll stop moving and the character will start moving which is what this char up is and we can do that for the x as well so that'll be if x offset is bigger than tile width which is tile w then we can move the x offset and else the char left equals 1 so the character will start moving 
and for for the right and bottom it's not as easy as the top ones where it's just the 50 and the 50 which are for my specific power um, width and height because it's not just one tile that we're seeing we're trying to calculate it with all of the different tiles into consideration and so to do this we do another if statement we say if the y offset is smaller than and now we're going to do a calculation so we're going to have brackets here saying the tile length times the max size in the y so what it will do is times the length of the tiles by the number of them to find the end and then we just need to take away the screen y and then add on the tile length once again often you'll find this even if you have a calculation that makes sense with these two numbers multiplied um, there's always a few other values which you need to add or take away like I've done here so the reason we take away the screen width is because otherwise all of the tiles will go to the top before it stops and then you just need to add on the tile length because there's always a tile at the start that remember when we times them all by the width the tile was missing at the start so we had to take that away it was more easy to show when we used the 50s but now we're using the variables it becomes a bit more abstract and that's basically the same thing we're doing here so now we say so it'll only move when we ne we don't get to the end otherwise char down equals one and end it and now I can show you that I'm holding the down arrow and I've got to the bottom and it stopped and now when I take away the screen Y don't do this, I'm just doing it as a demonstration. You'll see it it keeps on going and then stops when it gets up there. So I'll keep that back and we'll do the same thing down here with if x. So only if x offset is bigger than tile width times map size x and then take away the screen x and then add on that extra tile on the end then and only then will that it move along the x otherwise character right equals one and then the character will start moving to the right and then we have the end if and now when I run this let's go to the right I'm holding down the right arrow and now you'll see it stops I'm still holding it down but it stops so that concludes this part of the tutorial don't try moving around all the way because at the moment it won't work because once it's triggered these char d and char u and char l and char r is equal one uh, the character will stop moving that's because we haven't actually set the character to move itself yet and we'll add that function in the next tutorial because this one's taking a while so thank you for watching and check out the next tutorial here.